Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Bash and this is Nomad Scrambler. Today I'm going to give you another five reasons I love the Triumph Street Scrambler. Alright, welcome back to another video guys, I'm Bash and this is Nomad Scrambler. Today, today I want to talk to you about another five reasons I love the Triumph Street Scrambler. Now, I did five more reasons I hate the Triumph Street Scrambler recently and people really got on to me in the comments about, you know, oh man, if you hate it, just get a different bike. Like, clearly this isn't the bike for you. No, like guys, I'm, I'm not doing those videos because I hate this bike or because I want to get rid of it. I absolutely love this bike and it is the perfect bike for me. It looks great and um, I'm never going to sell it basically, but you know, I thought I'd just uh, get out in the sun while I could and, and give you a sweet list. So let's not waste any time. Let's talk about the reliability of the Triumph Street Scrambler for number one. So it is incredibly reliable. I've not had any problems with it. And that's over like 18 months of ownership. We're almost coming up on two years. Two years in January, 2025, I would have owned this bike for uh, without a single issue. Other than, you know, normal servicing stuff like, um, oh, I need brake pads, oh, I need tires, like that kind of stuff. And uh, normal wear and tear is com completely normal for a motorcycle. So yeah, it's incredibly reliable. It's given me nothing but smiles per mile for almost two years. And really, why would you not want a bike that's gonna make you smile? So that being said, number two, one of the best things about owning a Triumph Street Scrambler is the attention that it gets anywhere it goes because it's a modern classic and it looks like a retro motorcycle. When you tell people, oh, it's a 2019, they're like, what? <laughs> and it's like, um, people think that it's much older than it is, but it's, and they kind of second guess it. They second guess it as a bike. They don't think that it's got the power or the ability of like a, a modern motorcycle when you're like, yep, this has got ABS, it's got traction control, it's got different rider modes. This thing is completely modern. It's just designed like a Royal Enfield or, you know, any of the other T120s that are, are new, who, but, you know, are meant to look old. Go back over the, the train line. And yet, yeah, like, why would you not not want that it attracts a massive crowd people think it's older and it just allows you to start a conversation and people really really like it and it's cool man it's so cool number three the third reason that i love the drive street scrambler so much is that 270 degree parallel twin it's such a nice sounding engine, like it just absolutely barks when you open it up. And like, for me, that noise, it, it's just addictive, man. I, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Not been this way ever. So um, we're gonna just, you know, explore a bit as well while we're out. No, the, uh, the sweet sound of that bump of an engine is just so nice and the way that it downshifts and pops and bangs now unbelievable big bump straight out the seat man <laughs> i'm learning from the time off-road if you're not seeing the off-road video i'll link it in the cards above for you to go check out number four the fourth reason that i love the triumph street scrambler is it's kind of like a go anywhere bike do you know what i mean like it's it's not really an off-roader but if you ask it to do it, as proven on the uh, the previous two, you know, off-road videos where I tried to go 100 miles around Norfolk on the hottest day of the year so far, because I'm incredibly clever. It does just, you know, go wherever you want it to go. If you want to take it off-road, go for it, man, because it's going to go. If you want, want to ride around the streets and just, cruise them out it can do that <coughs> oh my if you want to go and um, 
go on a tour. Yeah, it could do that, put a windscreen on it. It's gone, man. It, it's going. It's just an absolute all-round machine of a bike that just doesn't care. Like, load it up. Yeah, it's going to handle a bit slower. It's not going to be as flickable. But it is going to just do what you ask it to all the time and like if that's not a reason to love this bike i don't know what is like my mate he's got an mt09 but he also wants to go off road so he can't just you know jump on his mt09 sp and go off road because that would end in absolute carnage but that would make a sick video by the way someone turning an mt09 sp into a full off-roader um Anyway, the original point, yeah, he's got an MCO 9 SP, so he can't go off-road on that. Um, at a push, I could probably follow him through some of the stuff that he goes off-road on with his Husky, but, you know, this will do light off-road and it'll do fire chairs. It'll scratch 99% of people's itch for off-road. And to me, that's, what more could you want? What more could you want from a bike that, you know, it, is sub 10 grand as well man like this thing is just a bare bones basic style motorcycle with not much tech on it and it will just do it yes there are better versions of this bike for off-roading i.e the 1200 it is literally much better for scrambling than the 900 it'll do it man it'll do it it'll just um it's just got less ground clearance. That's all it is, man. Less ground clearance. And number five. Number five. It's such a loved platform in the community that there is so much um, third-party stuff for it, basically. Yeah, there is so many third-party accessories for this bike. And I've said that in the last video, but I feel like I need to hammer this point home, especially now that the bike is like 99% of where I want it that yeah this bike has so much third buys accessories and whether it's from the dealer like you could modify this bike into something cool from just the dealer um, accessory book is that the right word for it accessory book I guess so I've just done a massive loop by the way um, yeah it it is there is so many accessories for it from the dealer so many different options for exhaust if you are into changing the exhaust sound personally i love the look of the zards it kind of keeps that stock look with a little bit more noise which um is what i wanted there's the vance and Hines, there's the arrow exhaust there's there's just so much man and for me, that's massive because I don't want a bike that looks exactly the same as everybody else's at a bike meet or at a, uh, if I was to pull up to a dealership, I don't want them to be like, oh, well, that's just another stock bike. I want them to look at it and go, that thing's cool, man. That thing looks sick. And I think with the Triumph Street Scrambler, you really can and you don't really have to have any knowledge on how to like work on a bike it's all very 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 simple and for me that just makes the experience so much more enjoyable because it allows you to to create like i said this amazing looking bike that changed changed my outlook on motorbikes man i was like well i can never sell this bike now because it's so much fun Woo! listen to a pair man <laughs> yeah i love farm back roads man look at this wow in case you needed it, in case you're one of those people that thinks I hate this bike and that I need to go ahead and change it for something else because I'm clearly just dogging on it all the time. 
you are very much mistaken. And here is your proof, man. I am like a kid every time I jump on this bike. I, I cannot get over it. It looks sick. It sounds sick. And I think I've created something completely different to 99% of people that own this bike. The Zars, the, the Bart Busters, the Cafe Racer style mirrors, which um, I'm not happy with, but I, I need to change them. The brake reservoir, I need to change as well, man. But you know, little things now. I want to, I want to black this bike out a bit as well. Like, I want to get rid of the the silver bars. Don't like them. One black ones. And that's the amazing thing. Like I can do that. I could, could just powder coat them. I could change them for T120 bars. Those are black. And it also cuts it down by about an inch on each side, which would make filtering a lot easier. But for me. Nah, I'll just keep these bars just getting powder coated as long with the uh, the Bart Buster stuff over the winter because uh, you know no one wants to ride in the winter in the UK. It sucks. Not that our summer has been much better at all. Anyway, what's your favourite thing about the Triumph Street Scrambler? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't got a Triumph Street Scrambler, well, just have a look at my bike on Instagram at No Man Scrambler and then tell me what your favorite thing is about the Triumph Street Scrambler. Uh, like the video if you do, subscribe if you aren't already, and, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.